Greetings, church, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I just want to have this opportunity and this time that we can spend together on this uh, New Year's Eve watch night service. And I uh, wanted to come and just uh, spend a little time with you and thank the Lord for bringing us through this year of 2020. And uh, we've all stayed safe. We've all stayed no, nobody bad sick and and just it's been a good year it, it's not been a good year in the church because we've had to be closed down so much but it's been a real blessed church for us as individuals we've all are, got our health and we're all looking forward to 2021 when we'll get the church back open and we can come together and worship and fellowship around the word of god and tonight what i want to do is i want to i'm going to read some scripture and I want to read out of the book of Psalms, chapter 23. David says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they have comforted me. Thou preparest a table before, uh, before me in the presence of mine enemies. Uh, thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As I think about Psalms 23, it's always been a real special chapter for me. I've thought about it so many times to think about the fact that since I've been saved, come to know the Lord Jesus as my Savior, I've tried to do what David did. I, I allowed the Lord to be my shepherd. I allowed him to be the one that led me and give me direction in my life. I give him, I, I give him that privilege to speak to my heart about the things I needed to do, the places I needed to go, and what I needed to do, and he sure has blessed me, and David said here in this first verse, I could just stop there, but I might not, he said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Listen, if we're sold out to God, and we let him be the shepherd of our life, I promise you, you can say what David did, I shall not want. God's not going to let us go wanting. He's going to provide for us, He's going to meet our day, our needs daily. Um, he'll protect us. He'll watch over us. Uh, he has put himself in that position of being a shepherd to us as a, as a shepherd would to his flock. And he's going to be there with us. And I know he, he goes on and talks about the fact that he makes me to lie down in the green pastures. And he leads us in a way where we can be provided for. We don't have to wonder, is everything going to be all right? Are we going to have enough? No, he's going to take us to the green pastures. He's not going to take us out on a desert somewhere. And he, he leadeth me beside still waters. He knows the necessity of our life, whether it be food or water, and he's going to, he's going to do it. He's going to protect us. He said, he restores my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And that's one thing I can say. If we're saved by the grace of God, if we have entered into that position of being one of his children, like a shepherd's flock, he is going to take care of us, and he's going to lead us in the right paths that we can glorify him. And, and, and we, he'll lead us in paths of righteousness. For our sake, our name, no, for his. And that's the reason we need to live right, do right, and, and serve him right, because it's for him. We're doing that for him. For his name's sake. And he said, Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Of thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I know we've gone through a year where we've seen a lot of our friends and, and various church from other church families lose their life because of COVID 19. But you know, for those folks that knew Jesus Christ, it was okay. Though they walked through the valley of the shadow of death, they didn't stop there. I know the body goes to the grave. 
I know that's where this old house will be planted. But listen, our spirit walks right on. And we go on to heaven to be with him. And so, you know, that's a comfort. And that's, that's an encouragement and help to us to know that he's with us all the way. He'll be there on the day we die. And he'll be there when we walk out of this old body. And he'll escort us right on into his presence in heaven. So I, I, know, I want you to be encouraged. And I want you to not live in any kind of fear. Because God don't want us to fear. He wants us to live a life with joy and fullness. He really does. If I lost my life tomorrow, I'm going to live for the best today. I really am. I'm not going to go around fearful that I'm going to die tomorrow. I'm going to trust the Lord. He said he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He said, I will anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. I'm going to tell you what. When you stop and go to the table, you can rest assured you've got some enemies. You say, well, I don't know who they are. Well, I'll name some for you. You've got Satan, and you've got all of the satanic spirits that works with him. They're all around, folks. <laughs> you might not see them, and you don't see them. If you did, you'd be scared to death. But listen, we've got enemies. We've got fleshly enemies. But I'm going to tell you something. God will prepare us a table, and we can sit down and eat, and know, hey, it makes no difference what happens. It's going to be all right. I love the fact that he tells us here, he said, uh, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And he said, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There's not a soul here in physical bodies that's going to live on this earth forever in these bodies. We're, we're just not going to do it. The scripture teaches us that it is appointed unto man once to die, then the judgment. Well, I don't fear the judgment. Uh, I don't say that I've done everything right, and I, I doubt seriously that I've pleased him with every day of my life. I do my very best, but we will be judged for our life, our works. But I'll tell you what, he doesn't come to judge us with a heavy hand. We're his children. And uh, I don't know exactly what is going to take place at that judgment. I know we'll have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and we'll give an account. You can't give an account without getting a reward. And when we're there, we're going to receive a reward for what we have done right. Now, we may think there's some things that we're going to just, I mean, the Lord is just excited about us doing or not doing. And we get there and we wonder where the reward was for that. It may not have been about what he had in mind for you. But I'll tell you what, if we'll serve him, love him, read his word, and be kind to other people, listen, there's a lot of unkind people in the world, but you don't have to be unkind like because they're unkind. Uh, uh, unkind. We, we need to be kind to people. Treat people right. And we'll get a reward. I promise you he's promised that right here in this portion of the word of God. And even beyond that, we're going to dwell in his house <laughs> forever. We're not going to dwell down here on this planet Earth forever. One day I, I moved into this place, my wife, Beanie, and I, we moved in here in April of 1979. I don't plan on ever leaving. Matter of fact, I told Benny, I told my kids, I said, when I move from this house, they're going to have me on a stretcher and I'm headed for the graveyard. I'm, I'm not moving. But I will move one day and I'll go to a better place. And when I get there, it'll be forever. I'll be in heaven. So, you know, though we have come this year and we've faced a lot of struggles and we faced a lot of sadness because of being cooped up and we can't visit we can't see people we want to see I, I, I want you to know church I love you I miss you every day I really do and I long for the day that we're going to be back together we're going to go to church and we're going to be in there worshiping God singing the hymns together and and, and we can speak to one another I, I miss talking to you I miss seeing you with my eyes I, I, I can see you in my mind but that's not like seeing you with my eyes I can't touch you but you know one day I'll be able to shake your hand maybe hug your neck and I'm looking forward to that so let's continue to pray and let's continue to seek God's face and let's don't get discouraged along the way and uh, I, I'll look forward to seeing I, I believe and I really feel and I'm hoping shortly as we go into the year of 2021 we're going to be back. We're going to have our church doors open. We're going to be back worshiping God together and singing the songs and laughing together. And we're going to have a good time in the Lord. I'm looking forward to that. 
So I just trust and pray that uh, this uh, little time with you tonight in the Word of God and, and just to talk to you, I hope it'll be a blessing to you, an encouragement to you. Listen, God is not dead. He's alive. God hasn't been dethroned. He's still on the throne. And God knows what's going to happen in the very near future. We don't, but he does. And he doesn't want his children to get discouraged. He wants us to think about the fact that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. He's going to meet our needs spiritually and physically. We just got to watch where we go and what we do. And we can do that. I've been doing it ever since this thing started. And I don't, I don't go carelessly. I go and I take precautions. Uh, I would walk into a snake-infested community uh, and hope that I didn't get bit. I'm going to be watching for the snake. And old Satan is a serpent. He's that old serpent. And he would like to bite and strike each and every one of us. So you take care of yourself. Continue to pray. Pray for me and Benny. We're praying for you every day. And I want you to know I love you. And I want to praise the Lord for all he does in Christ's name. Father, I want you to bless the church family. Continue to encourage them as they live day by day. And God, may they look forward to the day when they can come together. All of us that will go to church and open up the doors and come in and worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless the service tonight in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.